Hello friends. In part 1 we had learned about lithosphere. In this part we will learn about hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere. All the water bodies on the Earth's surface, such as the oceans, seas, rivers and lakes together make up the hydrosphere. It also includes the ice sheets in the polar and high mountain regions, underground water and water vapor in the air. In fact, our Earth is often referred to as a watery planet. This is because about 71% of the surface of the Earth is covered with water. Oceans are home to many types of animals which are referred to as marine life. There are four major oceans. According to size they are Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, and Arctic Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is the deepest and largest ocean. It is circular in shape. It covers around 30% of Earth's surface. Pacific Ocean touches all the continents except Europe. Pacific Ocean includes the Marina Trench, the deepest place on the Earth's surface. The area encircling the basin of the Pacific Ocean, where frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occur is known as the Pacific Ring of Fire. It has 452 volcanoes. The Atlantic Ocean Second largest ocean. It is spread in shapes. It provides excellent locations for port and harbors. The continents of North America and South America border this ocean in the west, while Europe and Africa make up its eastern boundary. Shape of Indian Ocean is roughly triangular. India lies at the head of this ocean. The Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal are two northward extensions of the Indian Ocean. The Arctic Ocean lies around North Pole and extends southward up to the Arctic Circle. North America, Europe and Asia are the three continents that border this ocean in the south. Arctic Ocean merges with Atlantic Ocean between Greenland and Scandinavia. The hydrosphere is useful to us in a number of ways. The water cycle is one of the factors that make life possible on Earth. Water in the air results in weather phenomena. Oceans have a moderating effect on the climate of coastal regions. Oceans waters are home to a great variety of marine life, which is a source of livelihood to many people. Waterways serves as a cheap means of transport. Water from rivers and lakes as well as underground water is used for irrigation and daily requirements. Electricity can be generated from water. The Earth is enveloped by a thin layer of air called the atmosphere. The atmosphere is held to the surface of the Earth by the planet's gravitational force. The atmosphere consists of nitrogen, which is the most abundant gas found in the atmosphere, constituting 78% of it. Oxygen constitutes 21%. The remaining 1% is made up of gases such as carbon dioxide, hydrogen, argon, helium and ozone. The atmosphere extends approximately up to 1,600 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. It is divided into five layers based on composition, temperature and other properties. Starting from the surface of the Earth, the layers are called troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. The degree of hotness or coldness of the air surroundings us is called air temperature. It depends on latitude, altitude, distance from the sea, winds and ocean currents. There is decrease in temperature, with an increase in latitude and altitude. The pressure which the air around us exerts on the Earth's surface is called air pressure. It depends on the temperature of air and altitude. Warm air is light and exerts low pressure, while cold air is heavy and exerts high pressure. Moving air is called wind. Wind blows from high pressure areas to low pressure areas. Air becomes thinner as we go up and so air pressure decreases with altitude. 
The amount of water vapor present in air is called humidity. It varies from place to place and time to time. It decreases with altitude. The atmosphere plays an important role in sustaining life on Earth. It contains the essential gases, such as oxygen, carbon dioxide and nitrogen, required to sustain life. It also protects us from the ultraviolet rays of the sun. It helps maintain the ideal temperature required to sustain life on Earth. If it were not for the atmosphere days on the earth would have been scorching hot, and nights would have been freezing cold. Weather phenomenon, such as rain, winds, storms, clouds and rainbows, all occur in atmosphere. The term bios means life. Thus, biosphere is that realms of the earth where life exists. It is a narrow zone where land, water, and air come into contact with each other. Living beings exist only in the biosphere. It is this biosphere which makes the Earth a unique planet in the solar system. There is a delicate natural balance among all the realms of the Earth. A small change in one affects the others too. For example, deforestation results in soil erosion and reduction of the groundwater level. Increase in air temperature causes glaciers to melt and the sea level to rise. All the realms have a natural capacity to regenerate and purify themselves. However, to meet the demands of a rapidly growing population, more and more of the natural resources are being used up. Forests are being cleared, minerals are being recklessly extracted. Various industries and vehicles are polluting the land, water and air. Thus, there is an urgent need to protect our environment and maintain the balance among all the realms of the earth.